Okay, time for this week's auction. So last week's auction went really good. I was really happy with the results. Um, it's definitely building a little steam. More people were tuning in, I think. So um, hopefully be able to keep on rolling with it. So this is going to be auction series 1D. Um, yeah, I'll go over the uh, some of the, the auction details and stuff at the end. So um, I'll go ahead and get into it. 1D item 01 is um, a pair of arrowheads. This one here is Brazilian agate. I've already signed some of this, some of these items. Um, if for some reason you want to remove the signature, you can just use like a denatured alcohol or fingernail polish remover, and it'll it'll take them off. So, Brazilian agate. This was a really cool piece of stone. I got this from Craig Ratzet at at Flint Ridge. I mean, it's it's almost like looking into ice. Ice, ice, baby. Okay, this is uh, Florida Coral. I wasn't even going to post a picture of this thing, and I posted it on my personal page on Facebook, and it I think got like 600 likes. What in the world? But, uh, I mean, it is nice. Really cool piece of stone. I think they actually call this uh, variety of coral some something ice. It's, it's a pretty nice piece, a little stemmed piece. Kind of cool. So that's item zero one. We'll slide him over here. Item zero two is um, this one's got kind of a Snyder's looking base on it. It's made out of black buffalo. I really liked how this one came out. Black Buffalo River from Tennessee. Okay, so it's item 1D02. 1D03 is a dovetail from Sonora Chert from Kentucky. It's a really nice piece of Sonora. like that one. 1D03, Dovetail from Sonora. Okay, item 1D04. This is a beauty here. This is a piece of Roy Miller's Flint Ridge. Um, I was going to keep this one. I actually sold it once and bought it back from a guy. Um, but I'm getting ready to make another trip up there soon, so I'll be getting some more of this nice material. This is one of my favorite, favorite pieces of rock I've got from him. That beautiful blue. I think I paid about forty dollars for the rock. It's a really nice piece. Love the flaking, nice and thin, translucent. Got a little bevel on it. So that one is 1D04, Lost Lake from Flint Ridge. Uh, 1D05, I'm going to hook you guys up with a few obsidian bifaces. 
So this is uh, like a banded, gray banded obsidian. The bands aren't super prevalent. Like uh, they don't show up real good in some of them more so than others. Like this one, you can see it. It's actually really nice. Maps really well. So I've got, got three of these bifaces. Um, let's see if I can find a tape measure real quick. Should have had one ready. Here's one. Just for reference, I'll go ahead and measure this point too. I think it's about three and a quarter. Yeah. Um, and then these look like they're about four and three quarter, four and three quarter, about five and a quarter. So, four, eight. It's about 11 or 12 inches worth um, obsidian bifaces. Uh, item 1D05. Okay, 1D06 is a box of obsidian and assorted flakes. So, We've got all kinds of stuff in here, some Texas stuff, some Buffalo River, some uh, piece of Roy Miller Flint Ridge, Fort Hood, Bullseye Buffalo, Buffalo River, some Keogh Cook or Burlington maybe, Root Beer, Flint River, Nice piece of bullseye or painted Buffalo River. Little piece of black Buffalo River. <clears throat> Georgetown, high quality Georgetown. La la. We got nice flake of Nethers, Flint Ridge. Georgetown, Fort Hood. Actually, that's Buffalo River. This is Buffalo River. Root beer, root beer, root beer, and my faces. I think these two are Dacite, and then the rest of them are all obsidian. So, pretty good box of rocks there. Yeah. Item 1D06. Uh, obsidian bind faces and assorted flakes. Item 1D07. Okay, this is a box of Pretty Killer Horse Creek and Root Beer Chert from Texas. Um, the Horse Creek is from Tennessee. But these are some really nice um, pieces that are heat treated and they should chip really nice. They don't make really big points, but uh, they don't need to when they're as pretty as they are. Some really nice orange in that one. Here, great horned owl outside hooting away. I heard him yesterday too. Okay, Horse Creek, Horse Creek. So we're gonna get a good box of Horse Creek. So that's uh, that's the Horse Creek there. And then this is the root beer. There's a couple tabs in here with Cortex on them. Some really nice stuff. So, 
That's 1D07. Small flat rate with Horse Creek and root beer. Okay, 1D08. Um, I had a couple pieces of this aluminum, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> round stock left. And it's, um, inch and a half in diameter. And uh, you can make a billet, billets out of them. I'll show you what I did with mine. I made a, made a little billet out of it. So... We got a couple of, <clears throat> this is 6061 aluminum, item 1D08. Back up there. And I know some people don't have access to antler uh, quite as much as some of us, but uh, so I figured I'd offer some, some antler. I was going through a bunch of sheds and stuff that I had making tools the other day and Ended up with a few extra, <clears throat> um, a few extra billets, and uh, you could use these for, um, you know, an antler billet or a striker, or you could a knife handle, or you could cut them up and use them for composite tools. Use the main beam. This is really good antler. I mean, that's a that's a nice layer of hard hard antler around through there. Most of the antler we get right right around where I'm at, it's all bean and corn, and bean fields. So they got pretty good antler on them. But uh, this is, uh, or you can make a punch out of those too. You could cut it off a little higher and drill it. But it's got a lot of skull left on there. This isn't a shed here. This is off a of, off the skull. Fresh bone didn't lay in the woods at all. This was a harvested deer. European mount that I had. And then uh, this is a smaller one here. You could uh, grind this off and use it for a billet or punch or whatever you want. So <clears throat> that's the last one. one item 1D09 is uh, white tail antler. And that's, that's it. So uh, if you haven't tuned into one of these auctions before, all you need to do is go to the comment section and I will have the comments pre-populated with the item numbers and the timestamps. Um, and then all you do is hit reply and then type in your, your bid. And then uh, if you win, I will, you know, keep an eye on your, on the comment and I'll, I'll let you know if you win, I'll, I'll comment back and put a heart and, uh, Love your comment, and then I will comment, leave a comment for you instructing you uh, to please send your address and payment method um, preferred to my email address, which is bradsarrowheads at gmail.com. Just bradsarrowheads at gmail.com. Um, and uh yeah so everything's been going pretty good so far paypal is what i prefer to use um i have venmo my cash app <clears throat> is <clears throat> i'm still getting it figured out but uh so paypal venmo cash check money order um all is fine just let me know when you when you email me and uh email me your address obviously you don't have to worry about it if uh if you've one of my normal customers and uh, stuff. So good luck everybody. And uh, I will uh, let you know uh, if you win. Thanks a lot. Actually check your comments. <laughs> Thanks again.